Hey fam, and welcome back to NC for yet another recap of Chance's ongoing masterclass on how to make guilting women into sleeping with him a competition. Episode 7, Investigate or Instigate. We left off with the elimination of Flatback and Brown Sugar and the revelation that Biggie was creeping with a security guard. I always thought bad girls moved in silence. Guess we'll see if there's a lot of slow singing and flower bringing cause Snitchy Small's mouth starts ringing. These sisters are hashing it out and having a fake fight. Is, is this how sisters fight? Cause my brothers used to flip the hell out on each other. Biggie is trying to throw Smalls out the room and it makes her own exit. Next we have Tipsy and Roly chatting it up, talking about how surprised that Flatback caught the boot. Why am I all of a sudden craving Bubblicious? Slim strolls in looking like a Barbarella extra and Roly gets that wind up toy ready to rumble. In the kitchen, Yodela, Soldier, and Skittles are talking about small snitching. I know the new house is an upgrade from season one, but, but what's with the cup of noodles food budget? Since we're talking about it, it was before I took to the camera, but make sure you check out the channel and see my recap of season one. But back to the beef. Yo and Skits is warning Soldier about being pegged as the chick trying to sleep their way to the top, and Soldier says she doesn't take orders from any of them and marches off. The sisters have come back together and Slim strolls out, and the beef starts right quick. Slim kicks off the chanclas, squares up, drops a soft A, but I guess nobody's gonna talk about that. The sisters accuse Slim of selling her wares on Facebook and Slim's voice hits a pitch that only wolves and small woodland creatures can hear. When the sisters jump up, Roly slips in and tells them that they better keep their distance because she wasn't going to let 40 pounds of fury catch the double team. With that battery in her back, Slim ties her hair back, gets in their bubble, and Biggie hulks her like she was Loki. Slim slips past security and spider monkeys onto Biggie and is quickly pulled away. Chance just so happens to be wandering the neighborhood and finds Shines with her bags hanging out on the street corner. She says she's leaving because she don't want no drama. The Brooklyn delegation has respectfully revoked Shines' pass to the borough. Please find your bags at the Staten Island Ferry. Thank you and have a good day. Rolling in like she's a side character from the first season of Love and Hip Hop is Mangina. Mangina came in like Julian Assange with all the scoop. OnlyFans pages, Facebook lives. Wait, did Chance find these girls on Craigslist? Chance gives Mangina an earbud so he can chirp his silly ass questions into her ear. Smiles is first. Mangina asks if she's seeing someone else or if she's an OnlyFans girl. Smiles suggests that Mangina sign up and see. Color me surprised. Smiles ain't as demure as we thought. Aye, ma. Dorothy is next. Looking all confused. Mangina questions if she and her mother were there together and asks if they were going to be sharing chance. Things spiral out of control with Mangina jumping out of her seat and the point of being the integrated is lost. Soldier marches in and Mangina questions why she's there. Mangina asks if she slept with Chance and keeps peppering her with these sad ass questions. Chance desperately wants to know if she thought he was good. Then claims that she needs to learn how to shut her mouth. Mangina also exposes that Soldier has two kids and that she refers to them as the past. Slim came dressed for the first half of Pretty Woman and Mangina asked why she's so angry and the energy went from zero to 36. Mangina questions if Slim is selling her thing on Facebook and calls her a hoe in Maryland. Both of them on their feet in a heartbeat until Slim chucks a mimosa at her. Yo, oh, the preview shows that we are only going further down the rabbit hole. Mangina is kikiing it with Roly and Yodla, but scraps with Tipsy and pulls Skittles financial records. You do not want to miss next week. So fam, make sure you stay plugged in, subscribe if you haven't yet, and let me know if you like what you're seeing. Hell, even if you don't. And I'll see you here next week. Until then, peace. And both of them are on their feet in a heartbeat until Slim chucks a mimosa at the baby baby baby.